It takes two minutes to eat a donut, but two hours to burn it off. Sounds logical, but it's completely wrong. Because your body isn't working like a calculator. It's a system. And if you understand how that system actually burns fuel, fat loss becomes 10 times easier and a lot less stressful. I'm Dennis, aerospace engineer turned fitness coach. Here we build fitness systems like engineers build machines. Efficient, predictable, repeatable. Let's debug one of the biggest myths in fitness. What really burns calories? Chapter 1. The Calorie Myth You've been told fat loss is just math. Eat less, move more. Simple equation, right? That idea assumes your body is a perfect calculator. But it's more like a self-adjusting engine. It adapts, compensates and recalibrates every day. Studies on energy balance show your body defends its weight through hormonal feedback loops, not static math equations. That's why eat 500 fewer calories doesn't always mean you lose exactly half a kilogram per week or one pound per week. The system adjusts, metabolism slows, movement drops, hunger increases. It's like software throttling power when your laptop overheats. Fat loss isn't about punishing calories out, it's about understanding where your energy is actually spent. Which brings us to the real system, running under the hood. Chapter 2. The Four Components If I asked you what burns the most calories, what would you say? Running? Hit? The gym? No, your total calorie burn is built from your subsystems. BMR, Basal Metabolic Rate powering your core temperature, brain and organs, even when you're asleep. It accounts for 60 to 70% of your daily burn. That's the silent engine idling all day. TEF, thermic effect of food. Energy spent digesting and processing food. Protein and fiber cost more energy to digest, roughly 10 to 15% of your burn. That's like running extra background processes every time you eat real food. Need, non-exercise activity thermogenesis. Movement outside the gym, walking, fidgeting, standing up, gesturing, all of this. Adds another 15 to 20%. That's the more you move through your day, the more you amplify this hidden system. Eat, exercise, activity, thermogenesis. Your gym sessions, cardio or training. This only affects 5 to 10% of your total burn. So here's the shocker. You burn far more calories from existing than moving from your workouts. The key isn't chasing the burn, it's optimizing the whole engine. Chapter 3. Systems Thinking Think of your body like a hybrid car. It's constantly switching power sources. When idle, your BMR keeps the engine humming. Every meal, TEF refs the digestion motor. Every step, neat, quietly stacks extra output. Training? That's your turbo. Short bursts, not your main driver. Most people try to redline the turbo and wonder why the tank runs dry. As an engineer, I learned systems fail when one part carries all the load. Your body's the same. It needs balance, so not all out burnout. So exercise isn't a calorie eraser, it's a system upgrade. When you train, you're not burning off food. Your body is just way too efficient for this. And that's the mindset shift that changes everything. If you're interested in more mindset shifts, please consider to hit subscribe. Chapter number four, build the engine. You don't need more willpower. You need better engineering. Let's rebuild the system for maximum output. Most people try to burn calories by doing more cardio. But cardio is temporary output. Once you stop, the engine cools down. Strength training, on the other hand, changes the engine itself. Each kilogram of muscle quietly burns 6 to 10 extra calories a day at rest. Sounds small, but 10 kilos of muscle adds equivalent of a weekly meal burned automatically. Studies using indirect calorimetry confirm that increased lean mass raises resting metabolic rate. As an engineer, that's like upgrading from a four-cylinder to a V8. It idles higher even when parked. Build muscle, raise your BMR, make fat loss your system's default setting. Next, we fine tune the fuel itself. Chapter 5. Optimize the fuel. If your metabolism is the engine, 
Fuel. Food is the fuel. But some fuels cost more energy to process. The thermic effect of food, TF, means your body burns calories just by digesting. Protein and fiber have the highest TEF, a lot higher than carbs or fats. In controlled feeding trials, people on higher protein diets burn up to 200 extra calories daily through digestion alone. That's like running your air conditioner all day for free. Processed food, low TEF. Your system barely has to try. Whole foods and lean protein, high TEF. They make the system sweat a little. Exactly what you want. Eat real food. Add lean protein and fiber to every meal. You're not just eating smarter, you're making your body work for you. But there's still one massive component. Activate the hidden component. Chapter 6. What if I told you the easiest calorie burn doesn't happen in the gym? It happens between workouts. That's neat. Non-exercise activity thermogenesis. Every fidget step and stretch adds up like compound interest. People with higher need levels burn hundreds of more calories daily, even identical workouts. Research tracking movement via accelerometers shows need can vary up to 2000 calories per day between individuals. So park further, walk during calls, stand while you think. It's invisible exercise, zero stress, but massive return. As an engineer, I'd call it free energy recovery. Move more in your everyday life. Need turns your entire day into a low intensity calorie burning component. The last piece, reframing how you train. Chapter seven, reprogram the turbo. Most people use workouts as punishment. That mindset burns motivation faster than calories. Training isn't about paying for a last night's pizza. It's about building a smarter machine. Strength training improves insulin sensitivity, hormone regulation, and mitochondrial density. So that means better energy control, not just more burn. Think of exercise as software that updates your system, not a delete key for food. When you train for strength, your metabolism stays elevated for hours. This is the excess post-exercise oxygen consumption. You leave the gym burning, repairing, adapting not just tired. Trying to get strong, not to get even. Strong muscles make fat loss effortless because the system runs smoother and longer. Real world system design. So how do you apply all of this without turning your life into a spreadsheet? Start with micro upgrades. Walk five minutes after every meal. Add a palm sized portion of protein at lunch. Do 10 minutes of body weight training before showering, for example. Each fix targets a different component. Need, TEF, eat. Within a week, your energy flow changes. No guilt, no burnout, just steady performance like optimizing firmware instead of replacing hardware. That's not discipline, that's design. You just re-engineered how your body uses energy. When your body runs like a well-tuned system, fat loss stops feeling like effort. It feels automatic. So if you would like to know what are the best methods for weight loss, check this one out right here.